The next pattern we are going to talk about is the DTO or the VO. I mean, DTO is basically a data transfer object and VO is a value object. So a data transfer object or a value object. That's what we are going to talk about right now. We talked about the facade pattern earlier where it kinds of groups data, different kinds of data and returns back to the web layer. So the facade kinds of acts as the single point which, which the web layer keeps talking to. The facade needs to return an object back. What is that object? That object is the data transfer object. The data transfer object is basically the summary of data which is needed by the view. A view, I mean a view is a page that you show on the browser might need different kinds of information. So what you do is you create one object which contains all the different information that you need in a view and that's the output of your facade and that's the data transfer object or the value object. Typically these data transfer objects are basically used for data transfer. So these are just used without any business logic. Inside the DTO itself, there would hardly be any business logic at all. They would just be used to transfer information back between the layers without any business logic in them. In summary, data transfer objects are basically used to transfer information between different layers, typically the web layer and the business. Thanks for joining more than a million students who are learning from us. At In 28 Minutes, we defined a learning roadmap for Java and front-end developers. We created more than 25 courses covering all the topics that you are seeing on the screen. There are four things you can do to make best use of these courses. Number one is Udemy. You'll find a link in the description of the video to our Udemy profile. We are teaching a lot of courses on Udemy and most of them are free. Number two, visit our website www.in28minutes.com. You'd find tons of information including how you can register for our trainings and the link to Udemy and our GitHub code as well. Number three, visit our GitHub repository with more than 20 repositories covering varied examples it's a comprehensive source of information and code. Last but not the least, you'll find a set of discount codes for all our Udemy courses in the description as well. Feel free to use them. Good luck from the team here at In28Minutes, your destination for high quality step-by-step -step courses.